Hi, this is Brian Sappin. I'm the founder and CEO of Sensor Tracks. Today we're going to talk about how you can use Sensor Tracks to diagnose problems with scrap on your different machines and lines. Uh, right now we're looking at a dashboard called Scrap Details that was built to help find and diagnose these scrap issues. At the top of the screen you can see we have the familiar timeline that's showing over a 24-hour period how things are running on the packaging line. You can see here that we have a lot of red bars. Those are actually issues with uh, downtime, not really issues with downtime, but that is downtime. The green represents good product being produced. And then there's some yellow scattered throughout here, which is our, our scrap. Uh, and you can see that our quality number is actually not too bad. It's at 98.33%, but we have a bit of a persistent scrap issue. As you can see by this particular chart, it's showing us scrap by hour. And every hour, it's very consistent, we scrap out three products. Um, we can take a look at this and kind of drill down into the details if we want. So we can zoom in, right? And we can see we have one here at uh, 1230. Uh, we could go back out. Another thing that we can take a look at, which is interesting, sometimes... Uh, process parameters, ambient temperature, things like that can affect different uh, manufacturing processes. So we took uh, temperature and plotted that on here as well. And we can see that taking a look at scrap by hour versus temperature, um, there's no correlation, right? So this is just happening every single time. It's probably some kind of machine issue, uh, mold changeover, something like that, maybe a, a packaging changeover that's causing the issue. Um, so now we can drill down into a little bit more detail and let's take a look at the reasons why we're having this scrap. And there's a couple ways to look at that. We have a donut chart here showing us that um, in a quality check, we're having 54% 54, 54 of the rejects are from an out of spec condition. So they're the wrong size. Uh, some of them have blemishes. There's weight issues. We had a tool breakage. Um, we had a startup on four of them. Uh, you know, so we're doing uh, probably first article testing there, and one of them was scratched. So we can take a look at a slightly different view of the same data where we're looking at a scrap Pareto. It's showing us uh, same basic information. 13 of those were out of spec. Uh, startup scrap there was four and then three weight issues and you know from a Pareto perspective we're trying to look at the 80 per the the top scrap reasons that make up 80 percent of our scrap and we can see that it's these three that we should be focusing on uh, but really our offender is this out of out of spec um, situation so we can also take a slightly different look uh, at it so looking at top scrap reasons by which cell or line so we could be looking at multiple machines here as well and to no surprise, out of spec is number one, startup and then wait. But then we can also take a look at the same data and break it down by shift. So maybe um, on a certain shift, we're having bigger issues than others. So we can see here that uh, we had some blemishes on second shift, out of spec on this one is five. We also had some weight issues. Um, so there were five out of specs on second shift. Uh, there were four on first and or on third shift. Um, so this gives us really good information to go back to the operators and understand, you know, what is it that's happening every single hour that is causing scrap? So you can see it's pretty easy to take a look at all of this information and understand the reasons why uh, scrap is being produced on this particular machine uh, and also the times of day and to see whether or not process parameters are affecting that. Uh, and it gives you some really good information to go back to the operators with and truly understand what's happening so that, you know, maintenance, quality, and engineering can all get on the same page to fix that. So you can check out more at our website, www.sensortracks.com. That's S-E-N-S-R-T-R-X.com. Uh, and you, you can request a full demo there as well. Thanks.